I'm here with longtime cowboy Paul Dietz at the Los Vaqueros Arena. He just got through doing a clinic. Los Vaqueros was honored to have him here. I'm very excited to be standing here with him. Paul, why don't we start off by asking, what got you to this point? Well, I started team roping when I was kind of a young kid. Originally, we just got horses to trail ride and pack horses around. And from when I grew up, uh, it was we didn't know any better, but it was a lot about force and leverage. I met my long-term mentor and friend, Buck Branneman, and he just really changed my life. And now we kind of go around the country most of the year, about nine months a year, just teaching people to be better horse people, kind of to give their horse a chance. And it's, it's amazing the lives that change through the horses. It's brought me some of the greatest things of my life. Um, some of my friends, it's, it's really changed their life, seeing the interaction and learning to treat their horse a little better a lot of times they learn to treat others a little better too. So. How do you feel about this clinic this weekend? Did you get through to a lot of people? I think we did. I think uh, we had some amazing changes, had a lot of fun. Um, part of the horses is, is about having fun. There is a serious note during the clinics and there's a lot of information. I, a lot of times in my clinics I say it's kind of trying to learn like taking a sip out of a fire hose. So. Um, I throw a lot of information out there because there's a little bit of all different levels in there from beginners to I've had Olympic riders ride with me, people training for the Olympics, different things like that. So, With um, this being an annual thing? Yeah, we've been coming here since, oh, I think about 2004 or so, so quite a few years now. So we've got a lot of long-term friends here, met a lot of new, new friends this year and just had an amazing time. Where will you go from here, from uh, Big Bear? From here we do a clinic up by Los Osos, uh, by San Luis Obispo area, it's a beach clinic. Um, it's it's really a fun clinic, It's we're not in an arena, we're out in the real, real setting, so there's a lot of opportunities that come up to learn a lot of different things. So how many months out of the year do you travel? I'd say we probably travel now, this year we kind of are going more full time and we're doing about nine months a year at this point, so. And you're, so your hometown is? Phoenix, Arizona. Actually, Cave Creek, Arizona. So you've been traveling out of Phoenix the whole this whole time? Yeah, we left the house about April 1st, and we got back for a couple days to last week to reload and restock up, and we're back on the road now for a few weeks. So how old were you when you started training a horse? Uh, my first horse, I think I started when I was 16. Um, it was a little bit here. I'd, I'd ride one or two at a time and then when I went to college I started training quite a bit more. My parents said you had to have a job if we're going to help you with college. So I started riding quite a bit more when I was through college. I got some footage this weekend of team sorting and doing the cows. Is that a big thing of yours? It's not really. We came up here a week early. We do a lot of ranch work mainly and came up here a week early because again we've made friends here over the years and we had a few days off. It was 110 in Phoenix when we left there. And so we came up a few days early and came to a sorting here just to ride around some friends. And it was truly amazing the, the way they ran it. The horsemanship has just really excelled from the last few years since I've seen the, the team sorting deal. Um, a lot of great people and, and a great time. There was a lot of people at that deal that weren't even at the clinic, but we just had such an amazing time through that. Well, this is amazing. On Thursday night, I got to see his demonstration, and then I realized that you can be a beginner, you can be advanced. Any horse person can benefit from his clinic. I know a lot of people that went through it this weekend, and they loved it, and they feel this great connection between them and their horse. And I just think it's awesome what Paul does. So he'll be here next year, and you're going to want to come to this clinic. It, will, it can help you tremendously. And it's been an honor to have you here. We're just it's so great thankful. To be here. Thank you. Thank you.